Hello. Today we'll be doing Wylock second grade worksheet lesson 26. We'll be measuring length. Measure the perimeter of each shape in centimeters. Let's do number two. So here we have three centimeters for this side. And since it's a square, all the other lengths will be equal. So three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters, and three centimeters. So let's write that. Three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six. Three plus three is six. Six plus six. We can draw this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next. Five centimeters. This is a pentagon, so all their sides will be equal to each other. So it would be five plus five plus five plus five plus five. So five plus five is ten. Five plus five is ten. So ten plus ten is twenty plus the remaining five. 20 plus 5 is 25. Let's go to the next page. Tally chart and bar graph. Write the total by counting the tally marks. Then use the tally chart to complete the bar graph. So total here, let's count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this is 5, this would also be 5. And here we have 1, 2, 3. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. Next, since this is 5, this would also be 5, and this would also be 5, so that would be 10. Here we have 10 plus 1, which is 11. Here we have 5, 5 plus 2. We can draw this out, or we can count it. So 5, 6, 7. So here's the favorite animals, and we draw it in a bar graph. So we have dog, which is 13. And since, is, since this is 15, this would be 14, 13. So 13. We line it up to 13. This would be dog, rabbit is 10. So we can mark these all. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it looks like this would be 14 then. So we can erase this. So this would be 11, 12, 13, 14 and this mark would be 15. Okay, so we can do dog again, which is 13. So we mark it right at the 13 mark and we go down. So always make sure to mark it if you want to so you don't make the same mistake I did. Okay, let's look at rabbit. This was 10. So here's a mark for 10 right here next we have cat and that's 11 so a little bit over so right here 11 we can draw a line oh, it's in a straight line but you can use a ruler for this one if you have it on paper so this one is 11. So since I'm doing this online, it's a bit tricky. But this should meet around the 11 mark. Right here. Next, let's do bear. This is 7. So here is 7. We want to try to line it up the same might not be so let's see seven. 
So here's seven. Since mine is online, it will be different from yours. But what I would do is use a ruler to measure it out. So it's exactly at seven or 10 or 11. <clears throat> Let's go to the next page, coin addition. Here we have a dime, 10 cents, a quarter, 25, a nickel, five, a dime, 10, a penny, one. So let's add 25 and five first, and that'd be 30. Then we have 10, 10, and one. So 30 plus 10 is 40. So we can write 40 plus 10 plus one. One goes down since it's zero, four plus one, four, five. So 51 cents. Let's look at four. Here we have a penny, one cent. This is the 50 cent. This is five cents. Dime 10, 10. So 50 plus one is 51 plus five plus 10, 10. Five plus one is six. Five plus one, six plus one, seven, so 76 cents. Let's go to the next page. Here we have word problems. Stephanie plants seven apple seeds, 12 strawberry seeds, and 11 watermelon seeds. How many seeds did she plant all together? So we can add 12 plus 11 plus seven. 12 plus 11 plus seven. Two plus one is three. 3 plus 7, we can draw this out. Here we have 3, and here we have 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a two digit number, so we place the 1 on top. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So how many seeds did you plant all together? 30 seeds. That is our last question. Thank you for watching.